Boop, boop. Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. No, I'm pretty bad. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I have not. Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> He said if all of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, baby. You said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man. This fucking laptop. Sniffing around this town with a rich Yeah, that's right. I ripped it on though. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. PTSD was kicking in. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm pissed off. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Including you. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny. In case you were waiting for me to laugh. Good, it wasn't meant to be funny. You dumb bitch! Look, I know what you must be going through. No, you don't. Really, I do. No, you don't. But I could use your cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> take a smoke. <laughs> I'll take a puff. I'll take a hit. That's very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you writing that I smoked? Um, your nose is bleeding. You get okay? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, 
Yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? No, I die. Please. Please. Go now. Uh, what's going on? What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory. Uh, I'm not thinking a, 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 a Peter. Works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. driving a Rolls Royce or a wannabe Rolls Royce Is the audio off too loud again for the ride. Thanks for the lift. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip track when Snow was left in the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. So he was, so was the wood, uh, the, 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 the woodsman. And he hasn't said anything useful. There's two of them. And dumb. They've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning. And I already miss her, too. You know, I never get more hoops when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe it's hard, it's really like me. Happening. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was. She told I me to be careful. Fine, I suppose. She was always fond of you, Bigby. I mean, look at her. I was fond of her as well. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. <laughs> Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Yeah, you don't want to piss me off. <laughs> that will be your neck next. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. 
It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Kabad. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. <laughs> Hello, what bitch! Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to Pretty do? Pretty okay to me. Beach? Not cut off yet. It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. Well, I'm not going. I'm not going to talk about toads. Why were you at Faith? Things. You know, I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air, especially with this. I'm not messing around. Going on. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. I'm not going to hit him. What is it now, Big B? You know... You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers! I'll loosen the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll loosen them a bit. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna play good cop for now. Ah, that's better. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Big B. We're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take Killing? Your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. But still, it can be used against him. Anyone? You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Mine now. I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, shut up, so where's bitch. Your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. I'm saving that. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Yeah, all right. Shove it down his throat. Want to see a trick? Okay. Yeah, he's getting punched. Yeah, you're getting punched. Yeah, yeah, you're you're done. This is going to work. Don't you? I'm gonna punch him. What happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. He's getting punched. Come on, Dean. What did you want? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. 
What did she steal? What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your, Your boss. boss. So let's talk about your boss then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. I did say he was gonna get punched. Oh, fuck! <gasps> oh, you're done playing nice now. Is that it? Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby. Beauty was wrong about you. You're just a sick beauty. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. If it weren't for you, Snow might still be alive. It's probably your fault she's dead. What's going on down here? <coughs> Damn, the fuck toy the life. Just joking, just joking, just joking. What was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. Well, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Yep. I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. Yeah. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. He thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Yeah, the... <laughs> the I was going to say like I would make a Riz joke, but I don't I don't Snow. think Big B's name could be like called until like like you got the Jizzler, the Jiddler. I'd like to talk to TJ about what he saw. I thought you would. He's waiting upstairs. I just feel like. What is it? I just. I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So... What's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. 
I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Okay. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, I got you now. Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff. What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedle D a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. How the he fuck did you everything. see? Okay, Mr. Toad. No. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. He's, oh, he's definitely going to the ranch. TJ. It's alright. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Yeah, what did you say? What dirt? I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... But she didn't have her head on. Well, that, well, that would make sense because it was I at thought, my doorstep. I, I thought she was going to pull me down too. Oh, uh, she can't. She, she was dead. Because she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? Yep. I heard you could do that. And that's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Yeah, not this time, dinner. I don't know. 
if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want was to someone be in laughing? trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. I promise. Okay, I believe you. I want to go home. Okay. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. I just realized Snow White's not gonna be very fucking happy that I ripped off that guy's arm. <laughs> oh well. Wow. I didn't realize. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay, I'm gonna fuck the body. I'm Jerry King. I'm Jerry King. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. No, you gotta at least put your fingers in there and, like, you know, you fiddle around. Close her mouth. Armlando. Recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Ooh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Pretty heavily too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? Might be a cheap Might glamour. A cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. Buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. No she was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on her knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. 
What, what did she say? Shocked about? It's a dead body. I can defile it if I want. Jesus, What's your cup size? Snow, do you mind if I uh, open the coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you mean that? I thought you were actually going to open your coat. That works as well. <laughs> Damn. Now I really want to know what cup. Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done punching people. What have you found out? The glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? Can't fool this nose. It looks like someone picked it out for her. Damn, he's like, someone he's like fucking like almost like Kakashi from Naruto. It's got a, it's got a nose like oh even Kiba from Naruto. Ooh. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. It's almost like a butler, or even you just shove it in your I don't think the it's forbidden cave. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You worry too much, Crane. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Easy puzzle. A deer. What does that mean? Uh, life is strange. this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. You have a sister? Since when did Snow White ever have a sister in the in the in the stories? Let me guess. It's my hair. No yeah, no it's your pubes. Who did this, Big P? Oh, I know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna save it for a little bit of fun. She's a troll. Damn, it's the troll Goosey. Yes, she's a troll. Yeah, she's a troll. And we move on. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. 
someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with Stop you. Stop the snap. Snow wants to come with me. I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Pedophile. Creepy. Creep. Creepy. Creep. Creep. <laughs> Get out, mate. Thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... <laughs> Snow White's not going to be happy about this. She's not going to be happy about this one. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. How's your arm? <laughs> This'll do. Yeah, yeah, you're shooting yourself now. I'm, I'm here for the other arm. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. Not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? You don't get to call me Wolfie. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He <laughs> said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Baby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack. to... Find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Yeah, because look what I did to Gran. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Big P, look, two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? <laughs> Damn. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Do it, say something. You should have just said something. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Do you want to lose your other arm? You when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want. <laughs> it should have been you. 
It should have been you, and it wasn't. Damn. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to be nice yeah. to Snow. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. She was looking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see it. We just didn't see eye to eye on things. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. <laughs> no, the put no, no, it should be the cream and pie. The owner, Georgie, <laughs> with all its fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Huh. Really? That's helpful. I'll check into it. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of it, it's a formality. With you can have her body. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Yeah, she she didn't say anything about Gren's arm. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. How's it night time already? Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in love. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. What is he working he's on? In kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Okay. <laughs> um. As long as he's willing to talk. Why is there a dude? Welcome yeah, why the f- 
I thought this was maybe a strip club, none of male strip club. Oh, there's the female. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I, I don't think anyone's watching. Good luck. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Oh my God, there's a jiggle. To say it. You're supposed to turn the clients on. I'm turned on. Closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Oh yeah. I'll tell you what, <coughs> come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. No, or thank you. Knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking whips and chains, everything, BDSM. You know me. Uh, but I'm not here for that. For the right price. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you dumb git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. Is this some great strategy to get me to incriminate myself? Brilliant. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Oh, I'm Stop a thug now. Throw around a bunch of accusations. Try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Anyway, no I'm breaking good. everything in here. No, don't cut back to the naked lady. Go on, then. Don't cut back to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it off. You gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? Tell me what I wanna know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. Oh no! Fuck! Yo! Titties. Titties. Where I can't see it. Damn. Bloody bastard fucking shit. How big? You proud of yourself, mate. 15, 24, 15. Fuck's sake. Fuck off, Hans. Hans from my like, frozen. I need to ask you a few questions. 
pants just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows, but you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes, take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use this That's on him. We're going to play some cricket. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Okay, I will. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. <laughs> I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Okay, next thing I'm looking at, it's getting Don't smashed. Even think about it. Yeah, you're done. Jesus, fuck. Give me the book. Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Hand it over. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. The one's in the safe, bitch. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Lies. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. <laughs> Give me the book. Give me the book, 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 book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's <laughs> No, I, I have a big bad you dick. Get it. You're done. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> this is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, men. Yeah, good. Finally. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Well, you're lying to me, Once so. Again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. I'll be taking the money too. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit. 207 you, millimeters? What's that in inches? Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. That's 8.1 inches. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I love the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Yeah, now, not really. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello, business office. Well, <laughs> they're not going to really care when you when they find out you're you're to blame for all this. Yo, pop them titties out. Excuse me. Hey, yo, pop them titties back out, girl. Pop them titties out. 
I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I came here for you. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. Trying to place me. Well, yeah, I'm gonna place you they in my bed later. Call me the Little Mermaid. Ho 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 ho! Once upon a time. Fishy, fishy. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour. No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Yeah, I do like your legs. I like your titties as well. My name is Narissa. Not well, Ariel. Narissa. But shouldn't it be uh, Ariel, though? Of course you do. Or, or, or is that, or was that like a no-no because like Ariel is like a made-up name for the Little Mermaid? Did you see Lily last night? You know where she went or who she was with? Mm. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. People keep saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Okay. Theory. If your lips sure. are sealed, can't you just write it on a piece of paper? Appointment with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can't you just write it down on a piece of paper? Because you're technically not saying anything. You're just writing it down. I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. I've got the money. I've got the money. Give her all your money. Or I'm just gonna pay her. Wait here for a second. I'm paying for a prostitute. W's. Ding, do, do, ding, 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 ding. Better get your dick sucked. <laughs> You're about to get your dick sucked. Daniel son. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. I'm gonna kick the door down. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, I will. If you're not in one of those rooms later, then I swear to God, I'm going to track you down and I will do things. Unspeakable things. You just brought the little mermaid to suck your dick. <laughs> it's like, sha la 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 la, don't be scared, girl. You're gonna suck this cock. Damn. <laughs> Mister, I'm telling your wife. I can imagine actually living in this town and knowing that all these people are actually like from storybooks. Yo, the Bronx. Isn't that where Kai Sanat grew up? The Bronx? In New York? Because it's always going on about the Bronx this, the Bronx that. Is, is this going to be... Okay, no, okay, what it's not like... The or for the whole night? Whole night. Oh, uh, you think it was the Bronx, yeah. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. <laughs> pay rent! So, now you know. It's all good. I know I should have told somebody. Beast, I won't say anything. Mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. It's all good. I'm going to steal so, you from your what husband. What are you doing here? 
I got the Little Mermaid. Oh. Now, now I'm gonna get beauty. I'm gonna collect someone all else. all the princesses like the fucking Pokemon. I heard. The victim was someone who imagine, was imagine, pop. imagine having no. a Disney harem. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh yes, the the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> well, fucking no shit. She was a troll. Um. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith. <laughs> That's all we get here: Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. <laughs> Johnson. The last ones are jokes. Thanks. Better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay. But I have a key. Five minutes, please. Oh my god, it's five minutes for what? Oh ho! Ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. Oh damn! Won't be hard. Yo, she just gave me butterflies. Ooh. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if. I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate Yo, it. <laughs> yo Beast is not going to be happy with well, this. here we are. Which one was it? I don't know. What's in here? There's no one else here that way. I'll boost the audio up. Wait, I'll boost the audio up. There's no one else here that. Wait, there's no one else here that. They be fucking. They be fucking. They be fucking. You have keys to these rooms. I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Big B. I see no sock on the door. Neither do I. Neither. Nice invincible reference. What if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. <sighs> Fine. Want me to write your name down on that fucking report? Open the door. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but... Beauty! Uh oh. Shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me with him? She is. No, I'm no, sorry. Beast, I promise I'm not. She is. Helping him. That's all. This means I'll somebody back. wants to join them. <laughs> I sure each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! <laughs> oh what no. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! Yeah. There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm. I'm just gonna take the punches. <laughs> Missed me. I'm joking. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. 
He wanted this. He wanted this. Please. Leave him be. This is my fault. Okay. Please, no. I don't I'm I'm telling <laughs> She told me to leave him be. She told me to leave him be and I got whacked. No, I'm not gonna do it. 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 I guess I'm gonna have to pluck his eye out. Give him a good old face fuck. I'm not gonna do it. Go. I broke the door. He broke the door, not me. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Bigby. What you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. <laughs> Yo. Who spilt the tomato sauce? Who spilt the ketchup? Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? It <laughs> walks in anyway. You fucking idiot. Don't touch anything. Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... so that's... Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? So now he wants there to talk to her. loud noises. Yeah, was someone really, like, pounding a troll? I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but like screaming like harder totally joke me. Like nothing like that. that? Even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the floor, um, keep people out of the hall. There's most likely to be sure no one um, comes in their time of the month. Crime scene, okay? but and they just PMF'd all over the bed. I'll explain later, okay? Someone forgot to put in their tampon. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? Um, That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I have no idea. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay. Well, they got that idea. Ooh, look. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. And why the E? About the money version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. To huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. How would you know? I don't think you smoke. Goody two shoes. I want that lamp. Shouldn't even be in here. I want that lamp, and I want it now. He brought wine. Classy. <laughs> classy. But classy from South Park. Yeah, yeah, she's probably being fucked in it. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Yep. What is it? 
He could be a cross-dresser. He likes it rough. <laughs> Rips in the dress make me think our Mr. Smith likes to play hard. He's a violent. Oh, man. that's what you meant. You need the dress to tell you that? Oh, I was getting the same idea from the fact that he cut her head off. Of course he's violent. He's a psychopathic killer. Oh, God, I'm sorry. And this is... <laughs> I really pissed her off then. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> let's play the music. Hey, Gianna, how are you? Big beat this. What is this game? It's called The Wolf Among Us. Last night, it was. Playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Yeah, a lot of sex. Things covered up the sound of the murder. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. What? What are you thinking? You're seeing it for the first time? Yeah, this is like my fifth time playing it. Bigby! Shut up! It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right, but there's nothing restful about what happened here. That psycho put that poor girl on this bed and cut her head off. <laughs> no head? Yeah, yeah. You know, she probably she probably refused to get the guy head, so he cut off her head. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person? Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Predator. She must have been so scared. Um, is there something else? I forgot what else I needed to look at. Um. Maybe she didn't see it coming. <laughs> But fuck, I forgot what else I needed to look at here. Oh wait, there's something on the floor. Do you smell something? Yeah, a rotted apple. Rotted apple. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? <laughs> no! It wasn't. Might have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession. Yeah, he has a snow white uh, he has... other stuff too. Yeah, th he has a sexual he... violence as well as regular violence. Yeah, sexual but yeah, yeah, he, he slaps her face with his dick. I hope you're just about through. Gets cock slapped. I don't really want to stay in here anymore. But to say, he's about, he has a snow white kink. Picture. Pretty sure this is the end of the episode. No, just the snow. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. How do you know about it firsthand? Closer and closer. How do you know? His stand in for snow is gone now, so the next step closer. What is it? It's crane. Yeah, look at that bitch. Look at that. Cr uh oh. 
creature looks mysterious. It's Snow White. <laughs> Well, the blonde one wasn't Snow White. That was Beauty from Beauty and Beast. He could be after you now. Good. That's I Snow White. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Hey, yo, filthy weasel! You're in the game. <laughs> Just not filthy. You're now a disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Yeah, you're not one of them. Hello, Big B. Oh. <laughs> take care. <laughs> like, oh, I'll I meant to tell you. <laughs> it's it's your long lost cousin. Christ, your long lost cousin, disgusting you? weasel. <laughs> we got Papa Weasel, filthy weasel, disgusting weasel. Who who's next? Who who what? Who else is there? John Morden. Well, that does the first part of the stream. <laughs>